Hi, Mank. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Abhilesh. Uh, so uh, it was nice to have a, a catch up with you after a long while. I uh, just want to learn something about cloud and your current role in uh, Wisk Labs. So can you please elaborate about your current role in Wisk Labs and what you do and what are your uh, goals inside Wisk Labs or responsibilities or something like that? OK, yes, Abhilesh. Thanks for this opportunity. Let me start. So I am working as a senior cloud analyst and it's not only about uh, only cloud. There are a few as other aspects also uh, like uh, cyber security is there like CompTIA certifications is, are there. So networking security all are combined together. So we basically uh, handle practice tests and video lectures for multiple certifications whether it's of uh, cloud if cloud means AWS GCP or Azure and other CompTIA uh, cyber security like CISM CCSP all those courses so basically connect with the authors uh, the instructors who will uh, give us the lectures who will record the lectures for us so all those things and we directly connect with them and uh, we ask for their inputs and all whatever they can do for our courses and we also like deal with other team members also like there are tech team uh, digital marketing team support team so we gradually on uh, every week we connect with them and discuss what are their needs and all so overall it's a good experience at with labs so uh, my next question like uh, uh, mind like how do you know about cloud and where did you start at first when you hear that cloud uh, word uh, what kind of jargon you have been into like in your college days so what you learned or how you started your career as a cloud what what, what is your first thought when you hear that bus uh, cloud is that so we started hearing this word when we were in third year okay around 2017 okay so at that time we just heard about it but we were i was dealing especially in other projects related to android applications and all so we I also aim that our final year project should be on Android and all. Out of you can say 40 to 45 projects, there was only one project which was related to cloud. That is only just related, not more than that. Then next time I heard when I was in uh, my company TCS when I joined there. So we were working on Python related project. So one of the on-site member was uh, has started learning regarding AWS. So he also told us that uh, it's a good thing. You should uh, learn any one of the clouds. So from there, I thought of learning uh, cloud and especially of AWS. So then uh, in the initial days, I only checked the documentations, the white papers which AWS is providing. And it is the AWS are also providing some learnings at their different different websites like skill builders are there and their per, other websites are also there means there are different platforms all are related to AWS only. So from there I started learning and after this lockdown is there in March 2020. So our project head was in Canada. They were thinking to move uh, thinking to migrate their uh, like databases were there some net is the stuff was there sql server were there so they were thinking of moving to cloud so for those things they also alerted us to learn so i started learning and then i got certified first in cloud practitioner then after that the major challenge was for solutions architect we need some hands-on experience also so for that I was just searching throughout. So one was there for a cloud guru is there and then Wizlab is there who are providing a separate platform to practice. So based on the fees and all course fees and all I purchased Wizlab's course. Then from there I started learning. Uh, practice tests are also there. So that also helped a lot explanations then 
for whatever i used to get doubts and all they are resolved like by the forum members which lab is providing one separate platform where we can ask question if you want to ask for every question you can ask each and every so there i learned and got certified in uh, solutions architect associate also yes this was the journey for the certifications then after that everything is just learning ahead of that uh, so before you uh, join with labs you already experienced the platform uh, and yes. then you get to know okay these are the uh, platforms we have been with labs and the comfortability of learning everything you have experienced on behold now you are yes. leading a team here uh, and you are creating the course that's so uh, inspiring mind like uh, it, it was not happening for everyone right so the one uh, you are yes. studying and you are working in the same company and you are making the product even better on high quality so it was truly amazing and it's a, uh, a good opportunity i hope so you have been in this lab so other other yes, things like for uh, me. yeah yeah great so your first company uh, you told about tc years is that your TCS. first company yes yes okay. it was uh, we were hired from the college only like placements from there we hired and after that some training was there one like two months after that we given a project then we started working there it's been after two years i switched that company so there only i learned about how the corporate world is like what are the things how who what work the lead is doing what work the manager is doing that we never saw in college so those thing i learned then i learned about the projects and like spent on time on myself also for learning new things and that's the cloud thing yes so oh, that's cool uh, so and, and and you already told like you uh, did your solutions architect certification uh, before uh, cloud practitioner so how hard it was is that uh, uh, more than your expectation the solution uh, the learning that you have to put the effort you have to put is is that matching your expectation or it was uh, like unexpected questions you have seen in your exam how you face the exam actually so many are talking about the cloud certifications so is that easy or is that very tough or it can be learnable by anyone yes so it can be learned by anyone suppose there are 65 questions and uh, solutions architect exam they are having a separate exam guide which gives the list of uh, services which can be asked in the exam okay so those services can be included in some of the questions or two or four three services can be combined in one particular question so we just need to know what a service can do like what are its features and use cases so all those things so out of 65 we can say only four to five questions according to me i think that they were new it might be possible that uh, many things i have learned and uh, some two three services uh, would have missed so otherwise the exam was good uh, if someone can spare uh, three months and can study every two hours a day then he can find a take this exam three months and two hours a day okay so that's this cool is, like three for solution architect you just want to spend more than uh, not more than three months you can put your yes. uh, hard work daily two hours per day consistently you can get it okay yes that's cool it's the maximum and, time like if someone wants to practice hands on also so this is the maximum okay. time okay okay and, and and you learned like you explore something on console and then you uh, practice the questions right that is the way you will learn yes first of all you your for you if you will be seeing the syllabus and then learning uh, directly in the console and then you will try out your experiments in uh, exam simulator and so on yes okay okay that's nice um uh, like uh, after that aws csa uh, solution architect so what next so what is your plan and what is what is your uh, next goals in career in terms of cloud so where are you heading actually so i am heading towards the devops part like after tcs and before joining this wiz labs i was there in some one more company so there for 5 months so there i worked on devops little bit and before that i learned 
uh, like docker kubernetes the basic commands so i thought that they are enough for switching a company so there i started learning and all and after that i joined wis labs so devops is also a kind of thing where we can focus and currently i am focusing on solutions architect professional exam so it requires uh, more experience and uh, more hands on also like experience is more technical knowledge is required more than the solutions okay. architect associate one okay that's why nice. like uh, when we think about cloud so devops is a part associated with that cloud uh, since we need to do all this uh, uh, devops tools it is very important to play a power role in uh, configuring those infrastructures and all the stuff so uh, what according to you like what, what is the future of cloud actually so you have been talking about your career direction so where the cloud is actually moving up is that like uh, uh, the services level increase uh, improvements we are seeing day to day aws is releasing a lot of stuff new services and all those stuff apart from that uh, do you think what exactly what the new innovations will be there in what kind of innovations you expect in cloud in the upcoming years so the services are upgrading themselves from aws and amazon are continuously planning on that and be the most important is that the ai part machine learning part which they are uh, integrating with their cloud services we have separate services for machine learning like sage maker poly all those things but they are focusing more on that and then they are fo- focusing on the customer aspects also suppose if a cur- previously ec2 instances were there servers so they are of small sizes like t2 t2 micro all those so then uh aws started to increase those servers like they are increasing based on the sizes their cpu powers and all those things so they are uh, increasing upgrading themselves also in many of the ser- services so it was like hardware level they are they, they have multiple server locations um increasing the server size bandwidth and all those stuff okay that's cool like uh, so for that uh, new uh, uh, what do you say sections or divisions of multiple clouds uh, yes. uh people are giving new service names for automation purpose of that particular hardware that's cool uh, like what what about like you know uh, people are talking more about the multi cloud these days because uh, any any company even if i check then i check randomly in google what are the companies using aws what are the companies using gcp or azure i see many companies are using all the cloud technologies it was yes, not just yes. restricted to one cloud platform so learning multi cloud is a future of career like we as a learner should we start with aws or should we head towards learning all three together for example i should start with the beginner level certification of aws and then parallelly i have to go with uh, azure or i should stick with one particular cloud technology so what will be your preference when you think about the multi cloud opportunities that is on rise yes abhilesh so multi cloud is the main thing people are more focusing on that suppose if we see the servers and monitoring all those part many companies prefer aws and if we go for database kind of thing database so many companies are preferring azure that's the cloud service by microsoft and if we go for projects like which includes machine learning ai and all so many of the companies are recommending they are thinking that gcp is better the cloud services from google so they are these three are having different different aspects from the organizations if any company wants to use all the three they can use and if they are comfortable with any one of them that is also good if large company is there if the deadline of particular project is high then they can go for multi cloud and every project will include one or the other tools of devops also like they will be using git <clears throat> or gitlab or jenkins and all so by any chance they will require to integrate this cloud services with their devops tools or anything so all the three clouds and other clouds are also there so multi cloud is better and if i say that what should we learn first so if uh, you are or someone is a college student 
and he is in third year so he might be hearing about all those things so he can start with any of the foundation certification so that will help with the hirings also at the time they are giving interviews and all so any one cloud is better and if they want to learn more so they can go all the three like gcp azure and aws they can go for all the basic certifications so that is for college students we can say and suppose if an experienced person is there and he wants to switch into any of the cloud so for him uh, choosing any one cloud is better because they will not get enough time enough experience to go for each and every cloud services so for them experienced people any one cloud is better and after 2 3 years of experience they can go for other clouds as well so uh, devops is very important uh, but choosing a cloud for a, a beginner they can start with any foundation level certification then they can start from that so that is very clear yes. and good insight uh, mike uh, uh, like uh, i just have a generic doubt uh, so when you are being working in a company like when you start with uh, some tcs or any other company when you start right uh, are you being placed directly into the project or you someone will give some training so for example you you told like you need this certification definitely for your learning and when you uh, start with an interview or when you meet a hr this certification will validate your skills and knowledge that's very clear so once you have been placed in a company or, or do they give you some special trainings or you have to learn by yourself so what kind of system is happening when you have been getting placed in an mnc or any kind of jobs so if someone is not certified then the company will give the trainings a small training in our company also we were being provided with little bit training and they suggested that go for the certification and if the person is certified then also a basic ones training including their project details like kt that thing is given to the new employees if he is certified yeah so uh, i got it uh, so because i always have a strange thinking like how long they will you allow you to learn uh, because i see many companies even uh, having you know even in this labs like many companies are uh, using uh, this class platform for training their employee so i'm just thinking how long whether it was 2 months or 3 months or exploring a set of services that they are going going to deploy that particular candidate they are putting into some months of training so i'm just having a random thinking like in a students point of view whether uh, people are uh, getting enough exposure before starting any projects so uh, also like you no know, i want to learn something about this hands on labs because people as look like, many students who are getting placed are also in fear when they start their placements in their college they just wonder okay what if i cannot answer the question in a particular service name is that fine like uh, learning few uh, uh, learning a few basics is more enough or if they are asking any detailed questions uh, we will be facing some kind of you know uh, confusion while answering so is is that okay like learning something little bit step by step it's fine i see many blogs that has interview questions and answers should i have to learn everything or should i stick with the certification and that those skills that that is for us before attending an interview so if you go for an interview and study from the aws site so you will think that i will miss one or the other thing suppose what can be asked in the interview that is we don't know we are not sure about what they can ask so for those things i think that cert- going from a certification that is a good idea suppose in certification we get all the basic things suppose an instructor is there he will teach suppose the basic part only suppose it's a certification of cloud practitioner so he will uh, like add all the necessary basic important points which are necessary for a particular service so going with his flow we can learn more suppose if you are in third year and if you start learning then till fourth year or seventh semester it's it can we can say that you will learn everything the basic part only but until and unless you get the practical knowledge you can't answer each and every questions that are asked by the uh, interviewers so for that theory knowledge is not enough if any instructor is also there 
he will also demonstrate like tell you the theory part only the definition is their use cases features so these are the theory concepts only but until and unless you learn the hands on like take experience work on small projects till then you can't crack the internet for a good company okay i think i covered most of the questions mind uh, like you you want to share something because it was a very small chit chat session what you planned so do you want to add something in terms of people who are first time learners i think many non it people even switching their uh, career right now uh, in in uh, these days so is that okay like they are switching to cloud like is it a safe career to start with or migrate yes yes they can start suppose a devel any developer is there who is involved in python java and all those thing and he wants to like migrate to cloud so he can go with the certification the basic basic means the associate level the one is their aws developer associate he can go with this and if he wants yes. to go further he can take the devops professional certification if any developer wants to switch the career and suppose someone is there from support kind of thing support engineer so he might be working with netiza sql server all those kind of supports and he wants to switch he can start with the basic certification because he is from support the interview questions he will feel that the interview questions are difficult so he can start with the basic knowledge and he has to try like giving interviews at multiple places then only he can understand what kind of questions are asked for and then he will get an idea that as a support engineer how much effort he needs to give to crack these interviews and switch his role and same is for azure and gcp suppose any system administrator is there who is working on more on linux and managing the infrastructure and all so they can go with aws sysops associate and then he if he needs he can go with azure uh, ac104 certification like that so in all the three clouds we have different different certifications which anyone can use and pass uh, so it's really very good insight like when we go to interview don't seek for job seek for learnings so you have to learn from that what they are asking what are the questions what is the job description or uh, and if we are able to pass the first or second round so we get a lot of insight from uh, attending the interviews about the questions mm -hmm. then we have to put into our learnings so that is one insight i think i will also learn from that because uh, in digital marketing generally we do that uh, we, we go to job description on latest tools techniques uh, what other big companies are asking for then they will will just explore okay this is what we have to learn so staying to current trends uh, it is very helpful for us while uh, seeing the job post so even for beginners as well they have to put more efforts on seeing the job description instead of just going and click and apply so they have to learn yes. from the job description that is one good insight mike 